Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As you most likely recall, B Chan invited four family members who all accepted their invitation and are coming to live with us. That's incredible. And a wanderer join. Are you kidding me? So, even though we're expecting four colonists, we get a wanderer join events where Alfonso just shows up. Rofonzo is a miner, mostly. They can also do planting, construction, animals, or art, as they have passions in those, but low skills. Okay, let's call Rofonzo Rolo, which is a name for my list that feels very fitting for Rofonzo. So Rolo is a slob kleptomaniac who's desensitized. That's not great. They're gonna make the base pretty messy. We'll just have to get more housekeeper cats. I think Rolo should work on leveling up in art. We don't really have anyone working on art right now because everyone else is too busy. We could just assign it for wood, beeswax, cheap resources, and do 10. Make a bunch of sculptures, and this will just be Rolo. They like to steal compulsively. They'll naturally sloppy leaves trash and dirt everywhere. At least they're not bothered by it and desensitized, interesting. Well, I I don't love their traits, but I'm not actually that upset about them. The biggest one that I don't like is slob because I worry about how dirty the base will get. <laughs> They're also not really that great of a fighter. Now, Strange has arrived. Strange is the genie who visited us, that gave us this idea. Strange is a brother of B-Chan's. They are passionate about construction, crafting, and intellectual, as well as melee. Unfortunately, the melee passion on a genie, I I don't think I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to give them a gun. Strange is definitely going to be a crafter. They should help with construction. I do like that. They can fall back on research. Hmm. Looking at my names list for a name for Strange. And I think... I actually kind of like the name Strange, but I think based on my names list, I will name this person... Capable of caring, social, firefighting. Uh, and based on my names list, I want to name them... Adamant. Adamant Larzang. Beautiful. I only have the option to change one of their names, so I'm going to give it them a title. And now we have Maurice Theokio. Theokio is showing up. Theokio is beautiful, trigger happy. Some skill in shooting, but no passion. Really, they like animals and doctoring. Nothing else. This is a veterinarian. <laughs> Theokio the vet. We can give Theokio a revolver, maybe. Look at Mitch's hair. So good. Yeah, Theokio, come get this revolver. I like that they're a doctor. I love that they're a doctor. That's great for the colony. Beautiful's fine. I like the name Rev Brown for you. Maurice Rev ba Brown Theokio. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Animal handler. This could help alleviate some of the other folks' responsibility in animal handling. We also have Graves, who likes animals. They just showed up. And are delicate, but not a genie. They have a double passionate intellectual as well as a single passionate shooting. And I'm going to name them Brains because of that double passionate intellectual. We do still have this room for everyone in this barracks, so that's good because we have all these new colonists. Rolo and Brains are comfy here. Yeah, I don't love that they're delicate. But they shouldn't be as bad as a wimp delicate genie would be. Is. Another... <laughs> another genie! Chili has arrived. Chili is also a genie. I am trying to decide what to rename Chili, and this pawn is, like, really awesome. So I'm going to name them Ilana. 
Not that often that I give myself an Elon upon. Rev Brown is my father. B Chan is my niece. And I have passions, a double passion in mining and art, as well as single passions and a few other skills. Honestly, Ilana should definitely be working on art in that case. So Rolo will switch to more of a general worker. Lastly, we have Shirley. Shirley, Grandma Shirley. Grandma Shirley has arrived with double passions in mining and social single passions in melee plants animals and intellectual the only thing with the passion of mining is like Shirley's frail so they're slow which is also why I don't really think they're gonna be a fighter they don't have good skill and they're slow look at our bears big papa mace sharing some fruit in the fridge brains is working on studying our architect structure which is great it's really nice to have additional people to work on this there is an intercepted message event these are fun you have no idea if they're good or bad setting up a caravan to go to the intercepted message i'm gonna bring a bunch of folks some good fighters and let's go see what this intercepted message is they're getting ready to go oh my god oh my god they're right next to the mech cluster are you kidding me oh Nothing happened. <laughs> okay, so to be fair, there are walls over here, but I'm surprised that the mechs didn't, like, come out. That was weird. Okay, they're going to head towards the intercepted message. Treasure ambush. Your caravan arrived, and you found an undefended item stash worth 4,000. However, as they were leaving, they ran into an ambush. Okay, Lang has the Persona Core on them, so we are good. Let's use this structure here. This structure is kind of convenient. It is marble. I wish it was something stronger, but walls are definitely awesome cover. So let's use these walls. This looks good. I think that they'll walk into the structure and right into the middle of us. Okay. That's good. Zoe, Mace is starting to go melee. Maybe you should join. Poppy can't see is not attacking anyone. Okay, now Poppy can see. They are impids? No, some of them are impids. Mason Big Papa are helping. And unfortunately, Brains and Lang are getting surrounded from the back. That's not great. Lang just got hit and Brains did a really good shot there, but I'm worried about Ra Brains being delicate. Okay, Poppy, shoot at these people. Zoe and the bears keep meleeing in the cluster that you're in, I guess. Lang, can you back up so you're shooting? Brains has 10 hours left to live. <laughs> Brains, can you run away? Zoe, can you jump out? Maybe you jump out over here and we kind of try to take them on as a group over here instead. Okay. Zoe, help attack this one that's meleeing Lang. Brains is getting shot and punched with the club. I just don't shoot Brains. Eight hours left to live on Brains. Okay, Zoe attacked that one. Lang... I don't know. Lang keep punching them. Brains, can you back up? Oh, Brains is down. Okay. Lang is still meleeing. We still have two. Three. We still have three. Big Papa just got shot. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage. Poppy, can you get that one that's just shooting all of us? Lang went down, but the caravan battles won. Brain says eight hours. Lang has seven conditions. Okay, we'll be fine. Um, let's just immediately go to tend brains. We should just go. We should just reform and then tend on the road. We have animals enough to carry all these people. It'll be fine. Probably. Oh, boy. Okay, so we should see... Them getting tended. I can't believe we got a Persona core. 
That's wild. Acidic smog has begun due to pollution in this region of the world. Caused by pollution in nearby towels. Slows plant growth, deteriorates open items. Okay. That's not that bad. We're going to try another conversion ritual. This time, Stabby Megs. We're converting Stabby Megs. Ideally, Stabby Megs would be converted. They're a very, um, already a pretty integral part of the colony by being H. Gammon's wife. Forty-eight percent certainty. Okay, that's not that bad. That's pretty good, I think. Plus three mood. Nice. Fiance. Sorry, I said wife. They're engaged to be married, not married yet. Hot mess is watching work be performed. Shirley's working in the quarry. Honestly, Shirley with their passion in mining, but they're like, and their skill, but their frailness. The quarry is perfect for them. Because they don't have to go that far and they can just quarry away. Hot mess watching Shirley makes me really happy though. I like this idea that Shirley is like this grandma of the colony. Really, Shirley is B Chan's grandma, but <laughs> we can pretend, right? <laughs> This is coming along nicely. I would love it if the archi architect structure and the quarry were in walls just so we could use them when we have manhunters. Mitch is doing um, nature running, which scares me. I feel like I should let kids do more of this, but I'm always worried that they're going to get like stuck out there when there's like a raid or something. But like, look at how adorable they are running around, you know? Pretty heckin' adorable. Just saying. Rollo and Adamant catching, uh, collecting some things from that Sleepy Siege. <laughs> Sleepy Siege from last episode. That is the Ancient Danger. I would love to crack into that Ancient Danger, especially now that we have better numbers. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. All right, we're getting ready to go take out an EMI field. We really don't have much choice. This happened very quickly. Everything's down, including our refrigeration and our pace, as well as our cooking. So I don't, like, meals are, we don't have very many meals. This is a problem. We just got to go. I have a big group here ready to take out the EMI dynamo, and it's not well positioned for me to try to avoid attacking the mechs. Normally, I like to just try to kind of sneak in and avoid fighting them. If possible, take the lowest damage possible. So what if we just mine through here and, and try to be sneaky? Mace. Mace is just like eating a guinea pig. Mace is like, I found fresh food. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me for finding fresh food? Ilana is trying to sleep. Ilana's tired, so I might let Ilana sleep a little bit on the floor. <laughs> Zoe's tired too, but we should really just finish this and get back on the road, so let's mine it up. You're going to eat raw meat. Don't do that. All right, so we've opened up the way, and we can come down here. Ilana, get in here. You can get in here and you can shoot at that. There is a proximity activator. Countdown activator. Okay. So not a proximity activator. Let's keep the bears back. Keep attacking. Go back to area one, Ilana. Ilana's like, needs a break. Adamant, maybe you can come back. Maybe all of you should go to area one and I'll undraft a few of you so you can go take little breaks. Some of them need meals. Rev, you could eat right here if you have one on you. Each game and go ahead and eat this package meal. Oh, what happened? Oh my gosh, okay. So so, I have two genies and one very strong person 
feet away from Max. <laughs> Good decision making on my part. Rev, can you pick up this meal and run? How about you pick up the meal and run? What if they load each other's meal into a pack animal and run away? Why don't you load this onto a pack animal? Oh my god, now there's insect jelly. Okay, and Ilana load the insect jelly and everyone run back. If we run, we might not have to fight them. Yeah. So we miss like the component or whatever, but I don't think it's really worth fighting them right now. Moods are really bad and like I said, two genies. Plus our group at home is not the strongest, so it would be really good to just get going back on the road. We can work on deep drilling and fabrication and stuff. So that way components are not as big of a deal as they're right now. Right? Right. Let's just get people to load up these things onto the pack animals and then some of them might want to eat. Yeah, you can eat. Rev, you can go off if you're done. Poppy's going to eat some insect jelly, which is fine. Ilana, you can leave. And H. Gammon, why don't you pick up that meal? Pick up the insect jelly. Uh, okay, eat the meal. Fine. These two just need to eat. It's fine. Once they're done eating, we can send them off to join. They're just like, no, I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat now. Okay, HGM, and go ahead and join them. Perfect. So now the entire group is reformed in a caravan. We can go back to Zine Orphanage, too. No damage, but moods are, like, really bad. Moods are really bad. Attacked person participated in raid. That counts as a raid, even though we got rid of an EMI dynamo. That really stinks. Okay, their moods are really bad. I hope they make it back without any mental breaks. Now, Sabi Meg is working on studying the major architect structure. We're a little over halfway through. Caravan's right back home. Poppy and Ilana are like super mad. We can try to calm down Poppy. This is usually not successful. Once again, not successful. Even with our best social skill, it just has a random chance for success. So I, I really enjoy that. Snap out should have a lot of chance for failure, but I like that once in a while it works. <laughs> So we got a quest that I just could not turn down. A quest for Resurrector Mech Serums. <laughs> Honestly, they're just so rare in the game. No, we don't even need one yet, but like, it would be amazing. So we're going to just grind to get the stone and resources we need to do this in time. It's also 371 silver and obvious wealth if we don't end up needing them. So it's a good move. Here we go. H. Gammon and Sebby Megs are getting married. H. Gammon and Sebby Meg. H. Gammon showing up for the wedding. Ilana and Zoe and Brains taking their time. Zoe, 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 your, your kid, your kid in the middle of their wedding ceremony. In the middle. You're late. You're late and you only have one kid and you're going to miss half their wedding. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm actually really happy about this couple. I think it's really great. I hope they make lots of unicornian babies. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Like, I don't know how the, the traits pass on when you, like, create a xenotype like that. It'll be interesting to see if they have kids. What happens? Okay, they finished their wedding. Congratulations, you two. You are going to be trying for babies, and you can sleep together now. Sabby Megs is pregnant. Are you, are you kidding me? You just got married yesterday. Y'all work fast. I mean, I'm, I'm here for it. Let's get all the children in this orphanage, even if they're not orphans. 
<laughs> Even if they're not orphans, I would like the children in the orphanage. Let's go ahead and work on these thrumbo. Uh, I would like their wealth. I would like their nice, beautiful horns and fur. And shooties, we're going to start with this one. We might have to get closer. It's dark and rainy and you're not shooting very well. Sebi makes his vomiting for morning sickness. I'm just gonna let you go. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna let you go. Alright, there we go. We triggered the first one. Okay, let's bring our melee people to the front. Oh, the thrombo's still leaving. You know what that means? It means I took too long. We're gonna have to chase down this thrombo to kill it. Which also means we probably won't be able to get the other ones. Got it. All right. So where are the other ones? Oh, they're pretty far away. <laughs> All right. Raid from the kinship of Sukulud. And my walls are not closed to protect our monument. So that's a problem. They're probably going to smash it up. Let's stay here and defend per our normal routine. Okay. We have one approaching. We could back up and close the doors. Yeah, they lit the tables on fire. I'm just going to ignore it. I don't want to deal with that right now. <laughs> Shooties, you can come over here to the choke point. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Just leave it. Stinks because there was like a lot of excellent quality, but it's fine. <laughs> we can repair this door, so go ahead and repair. There's a lot of them approaching. We can pull back forward to do some more shooting. Yeah, they're going to destroy all these tables. That's fine. They shouldn't be able to do anything else, though. It's just the tables and the columns that are wood. This is working kind of nicely. Some of them are pathing down the hallway, and then some of them are getting shot at. I love it. So, we have people fleeing, but not everyone. A bunch of them are still staying. Um, and my colonists are all leaving. All the pacifists are leaving. Stay here. <laughs> Get back into position. Not everyone's a pacifist. Obviously, we have a bunch of people with different ideologies now. Bring these folks back. Now they're getting redirected back to the little trap maze, which isn't really a very big maze or trap hallway, but it's something. For now, it'll do. We should definitely consider bringing the defenses up to the next level, particularly with how big this raid is and the fact that we're getting a lot of mechs now. Or we're getting more mechs, I should say. Savvy Meg, I don't love that you're bleeding out in 18 hours and pregnant. What if we move you out of the way, maybe? Can, 
Can you move? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, now stepping is down. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, surely rescue Savvy Mag because you don't fight well anyway. Melees keep fighting. Good. Okay. They're fleeing. Are we good? Yes. Uh, the non pacifists are self shooting. Could have been worse. Savvy Megs is getting tended, working on fully recovering, and we're nearly done. There it is. We finished our monument, and we've gotten 371 silver and two Resurrector Max series. All right. So now between this and the Persona Core, I'm kind of feeling like we have several very valuable items in the space. And I think maybe we should put them in little, like, stockpiles behind walls, maybe? Like this? This is for the purpose of someone having a tantrum. Sometimes when they have tantrums, they specifically target high wealth items and they'll smash like a pile of medicine or a pile of components. That really stinks. It stinks even worse if they go up to something that's worth 4,000 silver and smash that. So I'm gonna put the Persona Core behind a wall. Really cool that we got the Resurrector Max Serums. If we need them, I'm definitely gonna use them. Let's go ahead and do the universal advent. Throw a little party to celebrate our success. Fighting the raid, I guess. <laughs> I love their little like hopping and side bopping dances. I think it's made better by the fact that they have no arms or legs. I see a lot of folks, uh, not a lot. But, I mean, Shirley's not wearing a helmet. We might want to see if we can make a few extra helmets. This is a fun universal advent. We got an additional development point and plus eight mood. Wow. Zoe's working on studying the architect structure and finishes. Very nice. Obviously, we still have to work on the wealth. But with this knowledge, we will be able to interpret the next piece of the Archonexus map. Cool. Almost 182. A good amount of wealth, but it's not very close. <laughs> we still have a long ways to go. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time for more Xenorphanage. Have a good one.